Welcome to our Wednesday devotion. I'm Pastor Tim Gerbing from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Aaron, and Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. There was a time when Jesus was in Jerusalem and he stopped by a pool where disabled people could be found. Jesus walked right up to a man who had been an invalid for 38 years. And here's what happened next. We read from John chapter 5, verse 6. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to get well? Do you want to get well? Boy, if that doesn't sound like a stupid question. And I bet that if you ask someone that today, they'd accuse you of being insensitive. But if you give it further thought, it's a good question. While illnesses and injuries and disabilities bring varying degrees of pain and suffering and hardship, they can also provide us with an escape. There can be perks to not being whole or well. It can make us the center of attention. It can give us permission to be unusually grouchy or hard to live with. It can be used to avoid doing difficult things. We may even use it to justify feeling sorry for ourselves. Jesus had a greater concern for this paralyzed man than his inability to walk. He was concerned about his soul. Jesus asks all of us, Do you want to get well? Do you want to be free from your sin? Free from the recurring guilt felt in your conscience. Free from Satan's relentless attacks. Free from the distressing thought of what might be waiting for you after you die. Oh, yes, Lord, we say. But it's not always true, is it? Sometimes we harbor certain sins because we feel comfortable with them. Or we enjoy them too much. Or they take too much effort to fight against or because we're too proud to change and are unwilling to admit that we should change. Most believers I know express a desire for a stronger faith in Jesus, the kind of faith that always trusts him, a faith that never thinks about questioning God's will, a faith that is demonstrated by a strong spiritual life focused on God's word and exhibiting patience and love toward other people. There's nothing really wrong with our faith. The Holy Spirit gives us perfect faith. The problem is our comfort level with our sin. We like to hang on to it. Sin has perks too. But sin's perks are very temporary. And sin's consequences are always deadly and eternal. Yes, Jesus, we do want to get well. Keep us in the faith you gave us a faith that makes us uncomfortable with all of our sins, while at the same time gladdens our hearts with the reassurance of the healing that only your forgiveness provides. Amen.